Hi guys, welcome back to our weekly video blog. This week we're going to talk about a couple different ways to come up with your down payment money. We get a lot of phone calls every week, get people pre-qualified, but unfortunately they're a little short on their down payment money. So we're going to give you some ideas this week on where you can get that money. Pretty creative ideas. Okay guys, we're going to give you three different ways to come up with, uh, with your down payment money. Three easy ways. Uh, everyone uh, at one time or another will be able to come up with, these, uh, with the monies. Uh, first, wedding. If you're getting married, uh, you're going to have money from the wedding. You can use that as a down payment, right? That's right. Number two, um, tax return. It's tax season. Mm -hmm. A lot There's of people are getting re tax returns right now. They, uh, a lot of people just blow it on little things. They don't really realize that um, that little bit of money you get back from your tax returns can be used for a down payment. Yeah, I mean, 3.5% down is all you need for a down payment. Right. And um, on a $100,000 house, that's $3,500. $3,500. And that brings me to another funny story. Okay, so I'm... Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I show up at, at a property and I'm showing uh, uh, some people a, a property. So um, I'm not going to mention any names, but they show up and, and they came in different cars and the one gets out and hands, hands the other one a coffee. And I'm like, oh, huh, that was nice. So, and I'm thinking they, they do this every day. They, they, they get coffees and, it, you know, they, they, you know. I think I know where you're going with this. A yeah. coffee a day. Uh, you know how much a Starbucks is? Wow. For two? So you have two people, one coffee a day. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Go on with your story. Two coffee, two coffee, two people each get a coffee a day at the very, very minimum. Wow. Do you realize that's that? $2,365 a year? $2,365. Now, one coffee a day. That's what coffee. you can save. Okay. That's, that's, that's a down payment. Yes, it is. On top of that, so we're, we're walking through and I'm showing this house, okay? And, and, and I'm talking to the guy and I'm like, that's a nice haircut. And I was like, where do you get your haircut? And he told me. And I was like, oh, wow. How often do you get a cut? And he said, every three weeks. Nice haircut, isn't it? I said, it is a nice haircut. He pays $30 every three weeks for a haircut. What's that? Wow. So if he... Went to a barber and got less of a haircut. Five, ten bucks. Wait, hold on. Hold five, on. Five, ten bucks. Wow. And then you add that to the twenty-three sixty-five. That's thirty-six hundred dollars a year. Yeah. For coffee and, and a haircut. haircut. Just reduce yeah. your coffee. Make your coffee at home. That's yeah. what I do. Yeah, you're right. That's yeah. that's over a hundred thousand dollar house. Yep. Yeah. Let's recap. One, if you're getting married, down payment. Yep. Two, tax return, down payment. Three, coffee and a haircut. Do without the coffee. You're going to need to get a haircut, but do you really need to pay $30 for a haircut? I mean, now women do, but guys, barbershop. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Ten, yeah. And we're not even going to go okay. there. Okay. We're not even going to go there. <laughs> the whole cut, curl, you know, color, whatever. Okay, so guys, give us a call. We can help. All right, we there are some creative ways to get everyone a mortgage. Okay, if if your credit's okay, you have a job. We can figure out the rest. We certainly can figure out the rest. So give us a call. We'd love to help. But you like my haircut, right? I do like your haircut. I just told you it looked nice today. Okay, thanks. All right.